my cauliflower mac and cheese recipe is the healthier version of the old classic. I'm Justin from Cooking with Coit. I specialize in clean comfort cooking. And remember, if you love this video, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. Let's get started. Let's first go over all the ingredients you need to make this recipe. Cauliflower, cheddar cheese, butter, flour, milk, garlic powder, and salt and pepper. And the one piece of special cooking equipment you're gonna need for this recipe is a baking dish around nine inches by 14 inches. Guys, I am so, so excited to show you this recipe today. I love this recipe because it is just like a traditional mac and cheese recipe, but we are making a healthier choice. And instead of the noodles, we're gonna be using cauliflower, which might sound a little crazy, but just trust me and give this recipe a try because it comes out so delicious and you're gonna be so glad you made it. So the first thing we need to do is to cut our cauliflower into florets. The way that I used to cut my cauliflower in florets was I'd flip it around and I would basically dig out, you know, the leaves and the stems and all this stuff. I don't do that anymore. I have a much easier way. So what I do is I face it right side up. I literally just cut it in half. And then while it's cut in half, you have so much easier access to cutting the cauliflower into florets. This is such a faster method and I really think it's the best way. So all you have to do is take your knife in here and just start cutting out the florets just like this. You literally are just gonna cut out like this heart right here. And then you can just kind of peel as you cut, peel these away just like that. And look at that, that's so much faster and easier than my old way and I hope that helps you. So once you've got the pieces into like, you know, broken up a little bit, they're still a little bit too big. So then I go in here and I just start cutting them just like that. And the piece size that you really should think about for this recipe is really bite-sized pieces because you don't really wanna have this giant, you know, piece of cauliflower at the end of your fork. Just keep trimming until you get to roughly fork size pieces. I think this size is really nice. As always, this recipe is written out super clearly on my website, so please reference that as you're cooking along. You can find that link in the description below this video. All right, so now I'm gonna take all of this uh, cauliflower florets, I'm gonna put it in my strainer, I'm gonna go off camera and give it a quick rinse, and I'll be right back. Next thing we need to do is to bring a pot of boiling water, just about two inches high of water, bring it to a boil, and then we are going to add our cauliflower straight into the pot. Oh. If your water's already boiling, make sure you add it very slowly. I've done this multiple times and every time I think I burn myself. So don't be like me, just go slow. I'm gonna slow down. Nice and gentle, don't burn yourself. Now we're gonna cover the pot and let the cauliflower boil for just about six to eight minutes until it's fork tender. All right guys, so it's been six minutes. Let's see how we're doing with our cauliflower. All right, so the way I like to see if it's done is I take some tongs and I grab out a fairly big piece, one of the thicker pieces, and then I just grab out a fork and I insert the fork into the cauliflower. And if it goes in pretty easily, then that means it's perfect. Now I'm gonna take this off camera, drain it, and then bring it back. All right guys, so while I was off camera, I drained the cauliflower. I put it into a large mixing bowl, just like this. Now I'm just gonna set this aside for now. I've taken the same pot that I was working with earlier. This is really nice so you don't dirty up another pot that you don't need to. Now what we're gonna do is add two tablespoons of butter into this pot. And we want this butter to completely melt before we do the next step. All right guys, so for the next step, you've gotta be a little ambidextrous. So in one hand, grab your tablespoon measurement tool, and then we are going to take one tablespoon of flour. And as we add it into the butter, we need to make sure that we are constantly whisking. So I'm gonna whisk with my left hand, which we'll see how this goes. There we go. Just like that. My recipe calls for two tablespoons of flour, so we need to grab another. This is like trying to pat your head and rub your belly at the same time. And keep adding flour. And keep whisking until you've added all of it. Now I'm gonna switch with my right hand because I'm better with that hand. And I'm going to keep whisking really quickly. And there we go. And we wanna whisk this for, I don't know, anywhere between two to three minutes and just continue to whisk. So after a couple minutes, you're gonna grab your two cups of milk and you're going to slowly pour it into the pot as you continue to whisk. Keep whisking and pour nice and slowly. 
And there we go. And for the milk, you really could use any milk. I think the milk that's got a little more fat in it is always gonna be a little bit better in this recipe. But if you are dairy intolerant and you wanna use oat milk, I think it could work. So keep whisking. And then now we're gonna be adding our spices. So let's start with a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, followed by a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And then we're also gonna add one teaspoon of salt. And now we're gonna to continue to whisk until this mixture has thickened up a little bit. It's gonna be about three to four minutes. So what you're gonna see is this milk and flour mixture and the butter really come together and start to get nice and thick. And it's gonna happen like right before your eyes. So really don't take your eyes off of this because you need to keep whisking. But it's this truly incredible thing. Amon, why don't you get a shot of this as we're going? You guys can really see how thick this is getting. So check that out. So after you're seeing the mixture start to thicken up, just like we did, we're gonna turn off the heat entirely. And then we're gonna be adding our two cups of cheddar cheese. Again, get your whisk. And we are going to whisk as we add this cheddar cheese. And all we wanna do now is continue to whisk until the cheese has completely melted. And look at that, oh my gosh. This is like dairy on dairy on dairy which I'm not like the biggest dairy eater of all time, but this is looking and smelling so amazing. At this point, you guys are gonna get really excited in this recipe. Okay, all right, check this out. So Mon, get another shot of this. So check out that cheese. Look how quickly that melted and look how beautiful that's looking right here. Almost like a nacho cheese in a way. So all we have to do now is to take our cauliflower and we're gonna dump it into this pot, but do it slowly. This is like molten lava cheese. So don't let it jump up and hit you or else it's gonna burn. There we go. So now what we wanna do is fold in the cauliflower into this beautiful melted cheese mixture. And as the cauliflower gets really covered in this cheese mixture, it's gonna look more and more like a traditional mac and cheese. Of course, there's no noodles in this one, but it's gonna have that look. And especially when we put it in our baking dish, which is coming up soon. So just get all this cauliflower and the cheese mixture well combined. That's the goal for this step. All right, Amon, come get a shot of this. Look how similar this looks to a real mac and cheese. If you didn't know there was cauliflower in there, you would have sworn it's traditional mac and cheese. All right, so for the next step, we have set our cauliflower mixture aside for one second. We've grabbed out our nine by 14 roughly baking dish, grab some butter or some olive oil. We need to just give this a quick grease. So rub the butter or the olive oil onto all sides, including the bottom. And what this is gonna do is give us a little bit of flavor, that's one thing, but it's also gonna keep the cauliflower mac and cheese from sticking to the pan. Set this butter aside. And now we're going to pour this cauliflower mac and cheese straight into our baking dish. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I bet a lot of you guys aren't old enough to remember the Velveeta commercials. The Velveeta commercials with that cheese. Oh my God. That was my childhood. So now we're just gonna spread this cauliflower mac and cheese as much as we can across the bottom of the baking dish. We wanna try to get it kind of nice and evenly uh, distributed across the whole baking dish if we can. There we go. All right, so now we're ready to pop this in the oven. We are going to be baking this for 15 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, guys, the 15 minute timer just finished. Let's see how we're doing. Oh, look at this beautiful cauliflower mac and cheese. This looks so amazing, but we're not done yet. So as you can see, we've got a nice little bit of browning happening on the top. I wanna go further with it. I wanna have a little bit more browning. It's gonna make it look even more delicious. So let's pop it back in the oven. We're gonna put it on broil and we're just gonna let it broil for about two to five minutes, but we're gonna keep our eye on it the whole time because we don't want it to burn. So definitely watch it. All right, guys, so it's been three minutes. I think it's ready. Let's take a look. Oh, yes. Here we go. Look at how beautiful this cauliflower mac and cheese looks. We've got this beautiful browning all the way uniformly across the top. This looks so incredible. I cannot wait to give it a try. But before I do, if you love this recipe and you wanna see more just like it, check out my Healthy Recipes playlist. Okay, let's give it a try. All right, so I should totally let this cool, but I can't stop myself. So I'm gonna give it a try. Oh my gosh. 
It looks just like a real mac and cheese, but you can't even tell it's cauliflower. This cauliflower mac and cheese is literally one of the best things I've ever had. It is so incredibly tasty. It's so cheesy and delicious, but it has no noodles at all. Instead, it's got really healthy cauliflower. I hope you guys love this recipe. I'll see you in the next video.